how can busy leaders go about getting started and improving their health? Become more selfish and not thinking of the word selfish as a bad thing, but thinking of it as something that is for the greater good. If you're already pouring into your family, into your team members and into your clients right now, imagine how much more you could pour into them if you were functioning at 100%. One of the things is to basically run your body almost like a business. A lot of times with business, you schedule key meetings. Why don't we schedule our exercise sessions? You're very dialed in and precise. You have metrics that you keep up with in business. Why don't we have key metrics in our health. A lot of times in business, we're much more proactive instead of reactive. Why don't we apply that same philosophy with our health to be more proactive instead of reactive? When you combine those things, that helps you be a little more precise. Because a lot of times we follow fads that maybe don't fit our psychology and don't fit our lifestyle. And so we're forcing ourselves to do something that is incongruent with who we are and incongruent with our lifestyle. And that creates friction. That's where you get this battle between fitness and business. Whereas if we take a little time to do a little intel work, to dial in our strategy, we can have those things mesh with each other and feed off of each other.